All right, y'all, what's good? What's going on? It's your man, Jerry Kenneth. So I'm going to do this real quick. I was doing some research, and I was trying to figure out how to move your Oz tracks in Logic Pro. And some people were saying, create a track, and it was shift it, shift it, shift it. And I was like, nah, man, I, don't, I shouldn't have to do all that. So I actually figured this out by doing it by accident. Um, maybe somebody did a video on it. Who knows? But let's go ahead and get into it. So essentially, what we're trying to do is move these homeboys right here, right? And you can see I already got some tracks, which are buses, but I was like, why are they here? <laughs> I didn't select this. What was actually going on? I was doing some automation for one particular track and I was noticing that it was doing some shifting, right? So if I were to hit A, well, A is already hit. So this is the instrumental right here. And I was doing some shifting, which you don't see now, strangely enough. Um, yeah, I was shifting stuff around. And I was like, bro, why is it doing this? It shouldn't be doing that. And I'm like really hot and frustrated about that, right? Cool. So anyway, let's go back here. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select these. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select all of them. And then I'm going to hit um, Command and deselect these homeboys right here because I don't need them to be moved. Right. Now, all these buses or arcs that are selected, I want to move them. So, right now... All you see is those few buses right there, right? Yes. And I'm gonna go back and see the name. Next one, All right? So, cool, we got that situated. They're selected, right? All these are selected. Turn it on. There you go. You got all these buses now that I just selected. And in actuality, I need to turn those on too, just to make sure I can shift them all. Now they're all on. Okay. So going back, we're going to deselect the vocal ones. Voila. And then obviously if you grab, try to click and drag, you're not going to be able to do it here. Okay, cool. So we got that. Now what we're going to do is shift it down. Now, when you open up Mixer, you're going to see that it moved. Ta-da. It moved. Now here's the thing. All right. I got these three tracks right here. Right? It's my instrumental. Right? It's the musical instruments. It's the drums. And then it's a buzz sending it into that. Right? Cool. So... What do I do with that? Well, you're going to select these and you're going to pull them down. Now, when I go back to this guy here, you should see them now moved over towards the very end. That's all we wanted to do. You want to have them highlighted, turn this on, turn this guy on, and then hit read or whatever you want to do. And then you'll be able to shift it. Now, of course, you will not be able to shift it, right? If you do that, all you're gonna do is just highlight it. Now, the reason this shows up like that is because you're doing automations and you want to see said automations because you're gonna be editing in this window as far as your automations are concerned. So it's like, okay, you can't really control the automation on a mixer part, right? You have to control it in this window. And there you go, hitting A turns it off. Well, as far as like you looking at the automation, so automation is still there, but you turn them off as far as visually, you still see everything else that you need to see. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps you guys. And yeah, I wouldn't say really like and subscribe because I mean, I talk about other stuff, relationships, and I got music. So this is just one of those quick little videos. All right. Peace.